Our wonderful volunteers at the Palm Beach Synagogue are building the sukkah for the holiday that is going to begin on Friday night. And the holiday of Sukkot comes just a few days after the holiday of Yom Kippur, which comes right after Rosh Hashanah. And the question is, why do we have so many holidays successively, one after another? And as I'm watching them build the sukkah, I'm reminded of the story of uh, the famous architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, who built hundreds of magnificent buildings, uh, famously the Guggenheim Museum in New York. And they once asked him, from all the buildings that you built, which is your favorite one? And he said, without question, it's my next one. In Judaism, we know that we're never supposed to remain stationary. We're always supposed to be on the move, going from one good deed to the next. As a matter of fact, there's a commandment in the Torah that says, You should go in the ways of God. And our rabbis interpret that to mean that just like God is compassionate, you should be compassionate. Just like God is merciful, you should emulate God and be merciful. Just like God is kind, you should be kind. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe asks, there are many commandments that tell us specifically how to be kind, compassionate, and merciful. What is this commandment to walk in the ways of God adding to the other commandments? And the Rebbe answers that the key is the verb, v'halachta, you shall walk. The message of the verse is that don't remain stationary. Always be progressing, always be moving, always be advancing. No matter how much kindness and mercy you've shown last year, you must increase, you must go beyond where you've gone this year. Someone once said that if you're, even if you're on the right track in life, if you just sit in one place, you're going to get run over. Or as someone once said, don't live the same year 75 times in a row over and over again and call it a life. Each year, new year must bring growth and advancement. And a matter of fact, Rabbi Samson Folher says that the word sameach is almost identical to the word someach. Sameach means happy, someach means growth. And he says the key to happiness is not reaching a destination or some point, because the human nature is that you want to go beyond and continue to grow. And that's why after all the inspiration of the High Holidays, we don't stand still and say, oh, we reached the pinnacle of Yom Kippur, we're cleansed, we're pure. No, we immediately start building the sukkah. We start buying the lulav and esrig and the four species, and we go jump right into the next holiday to show that we're not going to remain in one position. No matter how high we've climbed, we have to go to the next level. We have to go beyond. And now we have to take all that inspiration and channel it into action. You know, the famous uh, Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger, who uh, was Secretary of State under President Nixon, uh, was known to be a perfectionist. He's a man who's reaching 100 years old now, and thank God he's still healthy and alert. And they tell a story that he once asked one of his staff members to write a very intricate report on a very complex matter. And the uh, uh, staff member worked on it for weeks, and he submitted it to Henry Kissinger. And he got it back on his desk a day later with a little note from Henry Kissinger that said, is this the best you can do? Well, the staff member started to work on it over and over, rewriting it, restructuring it, and he finally submitted it again. And again, it came back to his desk from Henry Kissinger with the same note again, saying, is this the best you can do? So he poured over it a third time and looked over every detail and fixed any grammatical mistakes or commas or errors and did the best he could do it, and he submitted it again. And Henry Kissinger sent it back with a note that said, is this the best you can do? And finally, the frustrated staff member picked up the phone to Henry Kissinger and he said, uh, Secretary of State, yes, this is the best I can do. And the Secretary of State said, well, okay, fine, then I guess I'll read it now. And that's the message of the High Holidays every year. God is saying to us, is this the best you can do? Show me how you could do even better this year. And that's why we go from one holiday to the next. We say that we're going to continue to move. We're going to continue to progress. And as the new year starts, think of one new mitzvah you're going to do. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. The main thing is that this year should be an advancement. It should be progress over last year. And if that's the case, then God will say it was worthwhile blessing you with all of the goodness and sweetness and resources for a happy and healthy year so you can carry on and go to the next level. Wishing you a wonderful day and a Chag Sukkot Sameach.